Hi guys and welcome back to Baking with uh, Hufflepuff. Um, since last time I was thinking it was so much fun to do the butterbeer one, I wanted to do something more that you could find at uh, the, the parks and the studio tours and uh, even read about in the books. Uh, and I was thinking, um, I think I mentioned it, mentioned it last time, um, I was thinking cauldron cakes. Because um, the only thing that we actually know is kind of like they resemble cauldrons, I think. I haven't really done that research, but I do know that they are supposed to be a chocolate cake. Um, I know that you can get them at the uh, parks uh, and they're supposed to, like the newest version you get like the cake inside of a reusable cauldron and some butter buttercream frosting. Um, I was thinking do about doing something a little bit similar but still doing my own twist on it because I I kind of like the the version, I think it's from one of the games, there's just like a pretty um, small cake, like a rounded cake, uh, chocolate cake, and then some like green bubbling, um, like, I don't know what, what to call it, it's like, it's frosting, but it's not, uh, in Swedish we call it glasur. Um, I don't know uh, if Chris knows what it's called, then please edit it in like here or here or something. Sorry. Um, but there's like, like this green bubbling frosting kind of thing uh, on top of it that it kind of drips down the sides. And I was thinking about doing something like that instead of actual an actual cauldron out of chocolate cake. Because that's pretty advanced. And I want everyone to be able to do this uh, at the same time if, as being vegan because uh, that's the theme of all of these. You're supposed to know how to make it for everyone. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, a recipe that I grew up with. It's called, uh, the cake is called Snudas, uh, or I think uh, we also call it uh, like mocha uh, kind of like a coffee kind of chocolate cake. Uh, I don't like coffee, so I'm going to skip that part, but it's still a chocolate cake. Uh, it's super like uh, soft, fluffy, moist, and it's such a good cake. I really, really like it. And it all already has, uh, it's supposed to have this uh, frosting on, on top of it. So uh, everything already goes well together. Um, and that's what I'm thinking, like this is the perfect cake to make the base out of. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to need uh, a lot of stuff or not a lot of stuff and uh, not more than usual. Some ingredients, uh, we need bowl, uh, a whisk, I like the balloon whisk, it's my baby. Um, we need some spoons to fill the uh, baking tray. I'm going to use a cupcake tray and then just uh, butter the uh, indents uh, to uh, make the shape that I want. Uh, if you want to and it's easier and it doesn't get stuck, you can use uh, cupcake liners. Um, thank you for uh, correcting me of what they were actually called, and uh, now I know. Um, but you can use cupcake liners just to make it easy for you. If you find like black uh, cupcake liners, that would be amazing. Uh, or if you find the silicone, silicone forms, uh, for the, the, the base to put the cake mix in. I think I'm do, making this more complicated than it should be. Um, let's just go and do this. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, set the oven. Uh, I'm going to set it to Celsius because that's what we use. I'm going to include 
uh, how much in Fahrenheit this is. Uh, but I'm going to uh, lower this to 175 Celsius uh, and start the oven uh, and this will heat up as we are baking. Now I'm going to um, start mixing everything. What we need is um, we're going to need some, I'm using soy cream uh, as usual because that's my favorite. You can also use uh, oat cream, uh, you can use uh, egg replacement as well, uh, but I like to use just the cream. It usually gives it uh, a little bit, bit of a more uh, dense and moist cake, uh, I think, than the egg replacement. Uh, and I don't know why, but I think egg replacement have some kind of like aftertaste to them. Uh, so I like to use the cream instead. Uh, but as this is heating up, we are going to use um, soy cream instead of eggs. Uh, and we're going to mix this with uh, a lot of sugar. Uh, so we're just going to do that. Set that aside. Get this. There's a lot of sugar in this one. Uh, but that's, that's fine, I think. Yeah. Uh, but we are just going to do this. Uh, so what we want is, uh, this isn't going to get like fluffy or whiten or anything like that, like eggs would. Uh, we are just going to make sure that the, the whipped cream and the sugar is just incorporated and mixed well. And as we think that no lumps, nothing else, uh, it's just a really nice like paste, uh, we are going to um, just ha have all of the dry ingredients in here and just mix away. Some cacao. Ca ca cacao? Yeah, cacao. I don't know. Um, the recipe usually says to uh, sift it, but <laughs> I don't have the patience for that, or and I don't want to just waste dishes like that. So this is going to be super dry, so as we have uh, poured all of our dry ingredients in here, uh, I am going to take some soy milk. Uh, this is actually half soy milk, half almond milk, because we didn't have enough soy milk, so almond milk is fine. Uh, the same with oat milk, just any kind of milk, really. Um, and I'm just going to uh, pour that, oh, it drips down the side, uh, just to make it easier to incorporate, but I don't want to do it slowly um, to make sure that there won't be like super big lumps when we're done. Just baking together in the Huff Puff kitchen. Wouldn't it be cool to just, if, if the Hufflepuffs actually had like a, their own kitchen? Since they're, they are, are like beside the kitchen anyway, just an extension of that into the Hufflepuff common room. That would be cool. What we're going to do now is we're going to add uh, some melted butter as well. This has been melted beforehand, so it's cooled down a little bit. If you're using regular eggs, uh, make sure that it is it, it has cooled down to at least room temperature. Uh, otherwise, the eggs will actually cook if you haven't mixed it properly. So there's it's a lot of of butter. But butter is good, so it's fine. There's so much on the sides now. <laughs> Damn. Oh well. Mmm, butter. But now we have our um, 
our cake batter. Um, now we are going to set this aside. It's a mess here, but we'll let that slide, okay? And now I'm going to butter this pan and then add the batter to that. Now we have buttered this. This is beautiful, beautiful art installation. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. And now we're going to uh, plate up the batter. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, the oven is done. Um, it's warm enough. I'm going to take this. And there we go. I'm going to eat that later. Uh, now we're going to spoon up all of this uh, batter into the, the tray. Uh, we want this to be not all to the top, but maybe two thirds up. I think that this is going to be two trays. Uh, I'm not going to make two trays. Uh, I'm probably going to not eat the whole batter, maybe do a cake version of this as well uh, that I can freeze because you can freeze this and then just defrost it uh, at a later time I would say maybe a month in the freezer uh, but it is always tastier to eat them fresh there we go we have oh, we have our cake batter um, and this will be in the oven for, what does it say? 15 minutes. Um, we're going to put it in the lower part of the oven uh, to just get the rest right consistency and bake on them. And now we just wait for the cakes to bake. Um, when they come out of the oven and start to cool down, we're going to make the frosting as well. Um, but it will be uh, added as it's finished, uh, so we can't really uh, add it later. So we'll do that when these are done baking. So until then, these are the cookies or the cake. I don't know, cupcakes, kinda. Uh, so we're going to set these aside. So now that we have moved to the stove, we are going to need some uh, more butter and uh, more cocoa. We need uh, vanilla powder. Uh, we need some powdered sugar, which are different. Uh, and instead of the coffee that the recipe says that we should have, I am going to opt into using um, what's it called, uh, almond milk instead, because that's what we have. Uh, any milk would be fine, you can use water, uh, you can use some uh, steeped tea if you have a tea that you like. I usually, when I do these, um, more of a cocoa base, we, um, or I, use uh, Earl Grey or Lady Grey uh, to uh, flavor the frosting. Uh, but now I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to make it green because uh, that's how the image looks um, So let's do that. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to heat the uh, The saucepan and we're going to take the butter and we're going to melt it. So I'm just going to make sure that the uh, the butter is uh, melt it properly and then I'm just going to add all of the other ingredients uh, and I am going to do the same as when you uh, try to color uh, a red velvet because red velvet is a chocolate cake uh, even though it is red uh, and I am going to put this off the heat I'm going to take I have two different kinds of greens here uh, I'm going to taste the leaf green first because it's the most uh, like colorful of the greens. I am taking a toothpick just to scoop up the color. I want uh, 
a lot of color. So I'm just going to take a couple of scoops mm -hmm. and do this gradually. So this is going to be a really good color, like a more mossy kind of like uh, the color that I usually think of when I think Polyjuice Potion. Uh, so that's really, really good. But this is our, it almost looks black right now, but I'm going to move over to the table again where we're going to spread this over our uh, cakes. I don't know if you can see the green, but you will soon. Uh, as it cools down, it's going to harden. Uh, it's not going to be hard, but it's more like an icing. That's the word, icing. Uh, but uh, the icing is going to harden much like on a, like a shortbread cake or short... Yeah. So we're going to take a spoon and just dribble it on top of it. It doesn't matter if it drips down the sides or if it stays. Uh, in the picture, it does drip down. So we're going to do a little bit of that, uh, but not too much. I recommend using uh, some kind of liner uh, because uh, the method that I used, it worked on some of them, uh, others stuck. So I'm going to eat those alone in the sofa, but... And in the picture, we have these golden balls, I think it was. Uh, I thought it was, um, what's it called? Bubbles at first, but as I looked at it, it was just like golden balls. Uh, so I am going to put some of these here as well. If you want uh, a brighter green or something like that, you can opt out of the cacao. Um, but I do like the taste of it, so I use it anyway, even though it, it does make the green duller and more of a moss color. Uh, but I, I like it. It kind of looks... Uh, poisonous almost there we have them uh, they're not like super pretty but they I know that they taste good uh, but yeah it's amazing amazing so yeah that is my take on the cauldron cakes um, I think they turned out pretty good uh, according to the picture from one of the games I think um, but the only thing to do is to eat them. And all of the cat hairs that is always in my food. Thank you. But yeah. Mm. I really like these. Please make them. I'm sure they will be, be a hit. It's even good when the uh, icing is hot still. But it's even better when it's cold. So I recommend this to doing this. It's not that difficult to do. Um, it's not more difficult than the sorting of cakes. So if you are having a hard time with that, make these instead and uh, just make everyone happy with baked goods because who doesn't like baked goods? If you want to see more uh, hair party themed baking, um, and don't have the patience to just see. No, go, go away, go away. Not on the table. Uh, but if you want more uh, Harry Potter themed baking things or baking videos, uh, you can always go to Bradley Bakes. He does amazing Harry Potter videos, um, and the thing, the things that he bakes, looks so good. And he is super good at being in front of the camera, uh, unlike me. Uh, so uh, check his channel out if you are interested in the Harry Potter baking. Uh, he is probably going to do more of the Harry Potter stuff than I am going to do because some stuff I 
uh, have no interest in baking, uh, like rock cakes and stuff. Um, but uh, go check him out uh, and uh, give him a thumbs up on whatever things you're supposed to do on YouTube. Um, and comment below and say if you baked it, if you liked it, and uh, I don't know, tag us on Instagram with pictures if you baked it. Uh, I love to see that. Uh, I get really happy when people try them. Uh, so uh, until next time, I guess. Uh, and yes, I did find my uh, glasses in the middle of the video. <laughs> I realized I am almost blind. Uh, so yeah, um, half of the video I have no glasses, now I have. Um, but uh, yeah, bye!